What's up, what's up, what's up, my party people? Anderson here, your ASVAB coach. Hope you're having a good day. And in this video today, we are gonna be showing you how to tackle evaluating expressions when it comes to variables being included. So this is really order of operations with, again, variables included. So if you didn't know, if you're watching this video the day it dropped, we have a class tonight. So with that said, let's go ahead and crush this. Let's go. So what is the value of the expression uh, below if h equals nine, k equals seven, and uh, j equals negative five? So h is nine, j is negative five, and k is seven. So here's how we do this. This is just like the order of operations. The only difference is that, look, you can't really evaluate this. You can't find the value if you don't know what these letters are, what these variables are. You don't know. So what you're going to do, nice and easy. First step is just going to be to plug in those values. You see that you have h is 9 right there. You have j is negative 5 right there. And then you have k equals 7 right there. But let me show you the biggest mistake that everyone makes. Here's the biggest mistake that people make. The biggest mistake is when handling these negative numbers. Here we have j equals negative five. So let me zoom in just a little bit here. I'm gonna show you again, the biggest mistake that people make. The biggest mistake is this. They think that, okay, j equals negative five. If I plug this in, this is gonna be negative five squared. Does that look like a mistake to you? It is. It is a mistake, and here's why. The reason it's a mistake is because you need to make sure you use a parentheses. Because it's not the five being squared. It's the entirety of j squared, entirety of negative five being squared. That's the big key here. So many folks, so many make the common mistake of not using parentheses. So I have to emphasize that before I move forward. So next, we're just gonna plug in the rest of our values here k equals 7. Here we can just write 7 because it's just plus k plus 7. We're fine. We're fine. But if we move forward here, notice what we have here. Plus negative 2 and then plus whatever h is, which we see here it's 9. And so we'll plug in 9 right now. And then there, bam, and then we square that. Cool. So a couple of things we want to notice here. Again, like I said before, let me just zoom in. Notice again, the whole negative 5 is being squared. And also, you have to perform this, and then you square it. A mistake that I know people make is that they will try to do 9 squared, and then they add the negative 2 to it. That's not the case. The parentheses here means that you are grouping this, and then you're squaring the result. And for those of you who just need that quick refresher, remember that squaring a number means that you're multiplying by itself twice. Just like that. That's what negative 5 squared means. So with that said, booyah, what's a negative times a negative? That's going to be a positive 25. That's going to be a positive 25. Remember, guys, if you didn't put the parentheses right here, if you didn't do it, you would have negative 5 squared, 5 squared 25, and you'd have negative 25, and then that would get your answer wrong automatically. So pay attention there. I got you. And so next, we're going to go ahead and add that 7. And then from there, we're going to go ahead um, and figure out what this parentheses is. Negative 2 plus 9, what's that going to be? Well, negative 2 plus 9 is the same thing as 9 minus 2. Just, you can switch it up. You can move it around. You can do that. Perfectly allowed to do that when it comes to addition subtraction. Just make sure to bring the sign with you. Make sure to bring the sign with you just like that. So 9 minus 2 is pretty easy. That's 7. And what's 7 squared going to be? Remember, squaring a number means multiplying that number by itself. So 7 times 7, that's going to give you 40. 9. Just like that. Then you have your 7. Then you have your 25. And now this becomes an adding game and you're all set and you're all good. And so you can use mental math at this point, solve this, and you're good. So as a reminder, before I give you the final answer, remember that we have a full two-hour class tonight. It's part of the program right there, tiny in the bottom left corner. Make sure to check it out. Go to that link and watch the video on how it works. I guarantee you, you'll raise your score. So with that said, here we go. 25 plus 7, that's going to be 32. 32 plus 49, what's that going to give us? Well, you can do 30 plus 40, which is 70. 79, 81. Boom. That's just a little bit of mental math to give yourself a nice and easy time right there. And so that's why the complete answer here is 81, and we are all set. With that said, my party people, I want to see you succeed. I want to see you raise your score. 
go ahead and check out the link to the class. Let's ace the ass about my party people, and I'll see you in tonight's class. Let's go. And as always, my math party people, you deserve to be put in the best position to succeed, and I want to thank you for always putting your best foot forward. With that said, get our free one-week trial to our program, no credit card required, and you get everything. Classes, practice problems, practice tests, all the way until you pass. See you there. Let's ace the ASVAB.